in this video I will be talking about pre initial load checklist so it is important in SAP S4 HANA CFIN when we do the initial load uh, there are some check checkpoints uh, which are important from technical and functional standpoint so as we are moving in the series we are on video number 16 the FAQ series is going on and at the last of this video I'll show you the summary what what all topics we have covered but today's topic is pre initial load checklist do I need to run check some pre checks before initial load absolutely yes there are few master data few configuration and few other transactional data checks you need to do you can ignore but those will give you pain after initial load so those are not mandatory checks but important that you should do them before you start load so that you get less errors and then because in initial load the mass data is loaded it is very difficult to trace errors and resolve the errors because in especially in FI when the load runs uh, with millions of documents in packages so it is important recommended what are those checks now can I have list of those checks yes of course so these are some configuration checks some master data checks some mapping test and checks and consistency report We'll talk about each of them one by one. So what are configuration checks? So configuration checks are these are just examples, uh, not not complete list or not an exhaustive list for your project. So these are just examples that when you start with your S4HANA system and you configure CFIN, you also have to ensure that the basic configuration is complete in S4HANA. For example, you activate CFIN, but there is no company code in S4HANA, then where you will replicate. The data will come from source it will look for the company code so it is important Big, very basic check stand so all your standard configuration check should be done your logical systems and RFC connection should be tested exchange rates exchange rate types because you are using the going to load the historic data to ensure that all the exchange rates current one as well as the all the rate types are loaded so in source you might use 20 currencies but all those has to be configured here Posting periods are open, very important. Company course clearing, out, uh, clearing accounts are maintained in OBCA. Exchange rate difference accounts are maintained, OB08 and OB09. Special GL defined for all account type and special GL indicator based on what has been configured in ECC. And apart from that, there are several other checks, some custom checks, which you might have to do with based on your project requirement, like any custom table is needed or any any enhancement needs to be embedded or any table entry needs to be maintained it depends on what your project is all about what master data check should I do very important and very common question you need to ensure that all your master data is loaded in CFIN and all your master data is mapped when I say all master data that includes your customer vendor material GL account cost centers profit centers all other objects like payment terms and payment methods based on what what design you are following that all necessary master data should be loaded in C in s4 hana system mapped in cfin fins underscore cfin underscore map underscore manage or in other ways somehow all the mappings has to be complete then only your document will be successful how do i ensure that uh, is my mapping good so there is a sap has given the standard mapping test what you need to do is you go to SE38 and I, there is a program rfins underscore cfin underscore mdg mapping test and what I have done in my pr previous projects is I have created a transaction code for this so rather than giving access to SE38 which sometimes it not easy to give based on security rules in the organization so you can simply create a new transaction code and use this uh, program in a transaction so you can say z underscore ma z mapping test for example so you put this program and then of course a transaction and then it gives you option of what is the source system what is the target system and what mapping entity you want to test for example here we are saying cost center what is the mapping value you put one value of the source system for example cost center one two three four and then you put controlling area g001 and it will once you execute it it will give you error message or a success message saying this object has been mapped so this is a random test you may not need to do it for every object one by one it, it you may have thousands and millions of objects it is just a random check you check few cost center you check few few gl account few vendors few customer 
just to ensure and it should be part of basically a quality assurance team in your organization that they should ensure that they rent do the random test and this if they found any error then it should be treated in another way because if they see a lot of errors coming in mappings are not maintained then you need to review whole all of your mappings so this is just a random test a standard program you don't need to do anything either you if you have access in SC38 you run the program if you don't have access you can get the transaction created just 10 minutes from a job even functional consultant can create a transaction for this program and you can go ahead consistency check report the last topic which uh, the last topic uh, we consistency check report there is a whole video available for consistency check report uh, this is the example uh, we all completely talk about consistency check report in this video so i will not repeat what has been covered in one of the video so you just go ahead and on the channel and you can see this video it covers all questions related to questions as well as how to run this consistency check what it is all about why needed what to do what is the input what is the output everything is given so these are the key checks i will just repeat once again the configuration checks master data checks mapping checks or you can say mapping test a random one and consistency report okay so these are the key test and this is the summary for for the digital cfin module uh, we have all the videos now so as i mentioned in the start of this video we have error handling we have central payment mappings non sap system integration reconciliation reports what is replicated what is not replicated initial load deletion filters in slt initial load groups and now we have you are watching this video pre initial load checklist so i will come up with more topics we'll keep on providing the knowledge with to you keep learning keep sharing this information with your friends and colleague and do not forget to like subscribe and share the channel with your friends and colleagues and i will keep on sharing my in my knowledge also it is important that you share your questions and your experience in different projects in central finance what you have done if you are even looking for a project you should just put it in the comments i'm looking for my first project this is what i have learned that would also help me to share more information based on what i have thank you